Hey everyone, welcome to Dama Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host, Teddy Wang, and today we are going to have a lesson on what lenience is in Tekken and why is that if you play characters like Jin, Devil Jin, and Heihashi Michima, uh, you shouldn't be able to actually go for a minus 14 punishment with the Electrix on a minus 14 move. For example, I'm gonna start this with Jin, then I will show you Kazuya, and then I will show you Kunimitsu. Kunimitsu has a DP which is very similar to Electric, it has the same motion input and everything, but it can be buffered. Uh, but although that move will always come out at uh, 14 frames, uh, Jin and Kazuya in Mishima's in general, the, the three frames that it requires to do a 14 frame move, it's only attached to to the motion of the crouch dash, but animation of the electric itself, it's 11 frames and it has two active frames. Uh, so I'm going to show you Lydia first. And as you guys can see, I'm already dropping this. That's because the timing to get actually the perfect frame of this is extremely difficult. And there it goes. And it's extremely difficult to get and isn't something that you will get on your very first try. And that's because it adjusts frame that it requires you to be very precise. You have to do the forward on the very exact frame or the very precise, the very precise frame of the, the recovery of the move then you have to do the other move the down the neutral down and the down forward and two you have to do this on a three frame window and if you if you do this one frame late uh, the character will be able to block and if you do it one frame earlier uh, your electric won't even come out because cross dash cannot be buffered there has been a lot of discussions in the past regarding that you can buffer the first forward and stuff like that but in electrics uh, you cannot buffer crouch dash so this has to be made the second the character recovers you're gonna have to do a three frame electric no matter what and so now we have kazuya mishima which is the only mishima character that has leniency and that leniency in electric comes down because of this and that my friends it's a missed step and this is a step that allows Kazuya to actually have the lenience that no other Mishima in the game has. So what this step does is something that we have covered before on season 3 but our microphone was too trash and our views were, our subs weren't really that much higher. And that makes Kazuya skip one frame on his electric execution and make it 13 frame instead of 14. So what this does for Kazuya is the following. Whenever Jin or Devil Jin or Eihachi Mishima have to be frame perfect in order to do moves uh, like a 14 frame electric in a minus 14 frame move, Kazuya has the lenience because he is able to actually skip one frame if he does it pretty well and he is right on the frame but he is also allowed to be one frame late and still skip the frame and still punish characters that are at minus 13 on block so it's a just frame punishment with a lenience because you can make this 13 frames right so i'm going to show you with lydia because with kazuya is much easier to hit compared to jin which took me a lot of time. We Kazuya, I, I, you can do it this in one try. If your electric execution of the 13 frame electric is actually pretty good. I missed. There you go. So that is the Kazuya example. And this is the lenience that not every Mishima has. This is Kazuya specifically. And it even allows him to actually do electrics from crouching and that is that is something that only Kazuya as well can do that's because of the mid step and this is a lenience remember 
that no other Mishima in the game has. Jin doesn't have this, uh, Heihashi doesn't have this, and Devil Jin certainly doesn't have this stuff. And now we are going to switch to Kunimitsu. And now on to Kunimitsu. And as you guys know, Kunimitsu also has a command, which is the Tensho Kaisen. This is how it's called. And it's a move that has the same property as an electric. It's a 14 frame move. But as you guys can see, this is actually much slower. That's because the move doesn't actually come out until you finish. But it has like a, it's very terrible for neutral because of how slow it is. But uh, uh, in punishment, this is one of the best moves in the game. You can even do it from intimidating dashes, even if she doesn't have a, a wave dash animation, but you can still use this to actually launch people. I do it all the time. You can also enter crouch from this. It's pretty great. But one of the things that Kunimitsu has is a leniency that not even the Mishimas has. And before in Tekken, before Tekken 7, right before Kunimitsu, this was something that only Brian was pretty known for. I believe he was one of the main 14 frame launchers in the game that was really scary. On, of course, there is Kazuya as well, standing. But uh, Kunimitsu brings this to a whole new level because this is a bufferable electric per se. So it doesn't matter if I do, if I do this on frame or not, as long as I do the, the code uh, during a block stun, I will always go in to get uh, the punishment. doesn't matter what minus 14 frame move is. It doesn't really matter as well uh, the block stun of the move because this is something that a lot of Mishima players really try to go for punishments with electric and we strongly advise you to not do this because the block stone on certain moves actually varies. For example, this one from Lydia is a little bit more heavier compared to a down forward two from Ganjak, for example. It's just a quick example. So this tends to be super practical because there is no move that is going to escape actually this move that Kunimitsu does. So doing 14 frames against this character means death, easily death. So it's something that uh, you should be aware of. For example, how do you want to take a risk against someone or how do you want to punish certain moves in a game? Even if you have like that just frame, but for Mishimas is really just on paper. Of course, if you are not maining Kazuya, because Kazuya is the only Mishima that can actually place or has a lineage to actually either do it on frame and it's 13 frame or 14 and he gets a punish or it does it one frame late. And as long as it's a 13 frame electric that he is using, he will see going to punish that move uh, on the frame. And after Kazuya, Brian has it on the jet upper, Kunimitsu on Tensho Kaisen, and I believe there is one more character that has like very dangerous launchers as well at 14 frames, but it's a very rare situation. I know Lydia has one, but you're gonna have to kill yourself to actually do a 14 frames because her forward forward has to be, the forward has to be buffered, and to do that on the frame it actually makes your eyes bleed. I, I cannot even imagine what that is, but it's very crazy. Uh, so this is the video for today and see you guys on the next video.